Next on Auto Show TV, an up-close look at the new Nissan Rogue, totally redesigned for 2014. Plus, we head down to Middletown and Sakuchi Honda. We'll look at teens and driving as we visit with Gaby Abadi from MAD. Also, we'll check out our car stereo experts at Sound Effects, get a car care tip from Melvin's Tire Pros, and check out some pre-owned vehicles at Ted's Auto Sales. That's all next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, it's the first weekend of May and welcome to the new Auto Show TV. I'm John Coletto and we're here at Anchor Nissan. Well, as you can tell already, Auto Show TV has changed. For one thing, there's a host now, that's me. Auto Show TV is now more of an automotive magazine show for the Rhode Island area with new car features, visits to the best dealerships, car care tips and lots more. So if you're in the market for a new vehicle or just love cars and want to know what's happening on the Rhode Island area automotive scene, then we hope you tune in every weekend here on Fox Providence. We'll work hard to make Auto Show TV informative and fun. As I mentioned, we're here in North Smithfield at Anchor Nissan. We've heard nothing but great things about the newly redesigned Nissan Rogue, so we're here to get a closer look. Hi, I'm Victoria Moran with the Auto Intelligence New Car Walkaround. This week, we're taking an up-close look at the all-new 2014 Nissan Rogue. The Rogue has been completely redesigned and you can see that Nissan has really paid attention to this update. And for good reason. The Rogue is a very important vehicle for Nissan. The small crossover class is red hot. They offer the perfect blend of form and function with great utility in a compact design. We're at Anchor Nissan in North Smithfield to take a closer look. Anchor is Auto Show TV's exclusive Nissan dealership and recommended by Auto Intelligence. We're here with Eric, the product specialist at Anchor Nissan. He's going to tell us a little bit more about the 2014 Nissan Rogue. Well, with the new Nissan Rogue, the 2014 model has been redesigned inside and outside. Um, it's been completely revised with increased fuel economy. Cubic feet inside has been increased by over 12 cubic feet from the last year's model. The fuel economy is up to 33 miles per gallon. A lot of standard equipment that is really useful, including your backup cameras, color monitors, Bluetooth hands-free. You can also stream music from your phones and devices Bluetooth uh, wirelessly by streaming it without any wires through the Bluetooth system. There's an available third row seating uh, capability that can help out larger families. The ride is just so much different from last year's model. It's quiet, very peppy, and it also gives you a very, very nice, comfortable ride. These seats are really comfortable. Well, they're uh, zero gravity seats that are inspired by a NASA made material. So that's an uh, anti fatigue material. So when you're doing long trips or even short trips, you're not moving around and getting all achy while you're sitting in your seat. Oh, yeah, I, I can feel it already. I would be able to drive for hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see here that. There's a lot of navigation from the tips of my fingers. What's what's going on here? There's a lot of controls over here. The ones that are over here on your left side will control the audio system as well as some of the features that are on the navigation. I notice it's a push start. It's a Nissan's intelligent key. And as long as you have this with you when you uh, get close to the car or inside the car, it allows you access to open and lock the doors as well as to use the push button start to start your vehicle. I noticed that we have a USB port. Um, does that mean I can charge my phone from it? You sure can. You can also use it to add in a, a thumb drive if you have music that you have saved to it, so you can listen to your special music right on the, uh, the thumb drive as well. Oh wow, this is really roomy back here. So you can flip the seats down with the little flip of the lever very easily. When you place them back up, these back seats also recline. You also have them on a sliding track. So you can increase or decrease the amount of space or leg room that you need. There's also a center armrest over here. So you can retract that and put that down for an armrest or a cup holder. Tell me where all this space came from. Well, they increased the interior cargo space and with the 12 cubic feet, you can tell with the interior dimensions, the length and the width has increased a little bit. They've also added a lot more cargo room for height. There are several different options as well the new divide and hide system oh, where great. there's 18 different ways that you can configure these two covers 
to give you any kind of different spacing. You can put different shelves up here. You can block off different items back here. You can even put your groceries facing up over here. Oh, that's There's amazing. There's many, many ways that you could use that space. So Eric, the row comes in three models, the S, the SV, and the SL. The S model will give you all the standard features, like I was saying, of backup cameras, your Bluetooth audio, the streaming uh, audio from the Bluetooth, and the all-wheel drive system. When you get into the SV, you're gonna get options like navigation, panoramic roofs, alloy wheels. When you're getting into the SL model, that's where you're gonna get the leather heated seats, the leather wrapped steering wheel with the heated steering wheel, uh, the navigation, all the, the bells and whistles. So there it is, the 2014 Nissan Rogue. If you want more information, come in and visit Anchor Nissan on Route 146 in North Smithfield, or visit anchorautogroup.com. Thanks, Victoria. We wanted to check out the Rogues here in the parking lot at Anchor Nissan. As you can see, there's quite a few to choose from. Well, next up on Auto Show TV, let's go to our car stereo experts and check in with Johnny Mack at Sound Effects. Today I'm here at Sound Effects in East Providence on the Seekonk line with the East Providence store owner Matt DeLuca. Matt, how are you? Good, how are you doing, John? Great, so happy to be here. Like a kid in a candy shop, you guys do just about everything. Absolutely, we do uh, all the fun stuff for your car and home. Uh, remote starters, convenience features, backup cameras, Bluetooth kits, you name it. We put it in a car, we can do it. I'm real interested in upgrading car stereo, so let's go look at what you guys offer for that. So you guys have so many options people can upgrade their stereos to, from something basic to something spectacular with navigation and all the great stuff. Like you said, anything from basic AM, FM, CD players, we have price points under $100. Wow. Replacement factory speakers, amplifiers, and let me show you some of the really good stuff down the other end. Let's take a look. I see touch screens, so this has to be good. Absolutely. All right, explain to me what is right here. A lot of technology for the tech buff that wants to upgrade their system in their car. Right, so you've got in-dash, AM, FM, CD. Most of these also are going to be DVD players. Integrate with your iPhone, Android phone, iPod, navigation. Some of these even have web browsers. All right, now we're looking at some other cool technology, backup cameras. In 2018, the government is mandating that all new vehicles come equipped with backup cameras, but we have a way to retrofit existing vehicles that don't currently have the technology. And that can be done with anything from a small, basic dash-mounted screen up to something that has the screen integrated to the, back, to the rear view camera. Um, as well as the original navigation systems that we looked at. And the cool thing about these mirror ones is it just looks like a regular mirror when you're not That's reversed. absolutely right. That's correct. So here at Sound Effects, you also can install remote starters and security system upgrades. Anything from a basic $159 remote starter up to $300, you're starting your car from your cell phone anywhere in the world. Tell us why people should come here to you. I mean, you can go get a car stereo installed in lots of places, but why is Sound FX the place to come? Well, quite simply, we're the experts. We have the right product, the right price points, and most importantly, expert installation. And that's what counts. Next up, our visit to Sakuchi Honda. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good but maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. If you've got a business, you probably rely on your truck to keep you in business. At Elmwood, we've been servicing the best businesses in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass for over 30 years. We've got one of the only heavy-duty truck lifts in New England, and we service everything. Dodges, Fords, Chevys, or GMC. And we specialize in Sprinters. No matter what brand, we're a factory-authorized Sprinter service center. And for your convenience, we're open all day on Saturdays, and we'll even provide you with a loaner vehicle. The Elmwood Heavy-Duty Truck Center on Route 44 in East Providence or online at elmwoodcdjr.com.
The next time you fake wearing your seatbelt, remember this. Cops have been trained to spot seatbelt violations even at night. And they don't give out fake tickets, day or night, click it or ticket. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles, and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard and pre-owned dealer. This morning's Auto Show TV dealership visit takes us to Middletown and Sakuchi Honda. When you come down to Newport, you've probably driven by Sakuchi many, many times. It's a very successful Honda dealership, but in some ways, it's just a small family business. Let's go inside and find out more. Well, this familiar face is Barbara Sakuchi, general manager here at Sakuchi Honda. This really is a family business, isn't it? It really is, John. We've been in business uh, for 64 years on Aquidneck Island. And right now there are three generations of Sakuchis here. Your sister Carol is a big part of the operation, Absolutely. as are you. Absolutely. Carol, myself, our mother, and my son and daughter, and Carol's son. All started by your dad, Mike. Exactly. Tell me about Mike. Tell me okay. about your dad. He was a fabulous man. He was a gentleman. Everyone loved Mike Sakuchi. And um, this business is a testament to, to his um, his love of automobile business and his family. It's been very important to us to keep it going um, as a legacy to him. And uh, I feel we serve the community very well and we are very happy to still be here after all these years. I think your dad would be very proud. I think he would be too, especially with what we did a couple of years ago when we renovated and uh, did all this new construction for Honda. Now here's an Auto Show TV Did You Know. Nationally, Honda's top selling model is the Accord. But interestingly, that's not the case at Sakuchi Honda. So what is Sakuchi's top selling model? Is it A, the CRV, B, the Pilot, or C, the Civic? We'll have the answer in just a few minutes. This is General Sales Manager Mike Liga. This showroom looks spectacular. I know you underwent a, a major renovation recently. Can you tell us about that? Two years ago, we moved into this new facility. It's uh, the generation three of the Honda design phase. It's one of the newest ones uh, in the country. And this facility right now has just been fantastic for our customers to enjoy and come in here. And it's a bright, welcome atmosphere. It uh, highlights our great cars that we have here. And it's just really a great work environment for everybody involved. And it helps that you've got the Honda product. It helps that we have the Honda product, but the main thing that focus on is, is the way we treat our customers. We just got our, uh, from the Better Business Bureau, we just got a certificate for four, being 48 years, not missing a single year of being A plus rated with them. Well, that must have a little bit to do with the general sales manager. I would like to think it has something to do with me. I was born and raised uh, right here on the island, yep. and uh, I've always lived here and know the, some of the island mentality, and it's about taking care of people first. Service is big here. Let's go take a look at your service department. Fantastic. Let's head over there now. Mike, this is a very comfortable waiting area for those who are getting their cars done with service. And, you know, you want to try to keep that moving, I'm sure, as quickly as you can. But if somebody does have to wait for a bit, you've got the TV, you've got coffee, you've got Wi-Fi. Well, this is nice. Yeah, it really is. This was one of the focal points when we built the new dealership. Uh, when we built this facility, we know, obviously, there is inevitably a customer waiting period either for paperwork or to have their actual work done in the car. We try to help also, we have a shuttle service that will bring customers to their home or to their work so they don't have to wait here. Let's talk about service. You have a nice drive-in uh, way that people can drop their cars off. You talk about that a little bit. Well, being in New England, we know we can't always count on the weather being just what you want it to be, even in the summertime. Right. So now when our customers arrive, they can drive with their Honda or any make. We do tr treat all makes and services here. But they could come right up to the garage door. It's got a sensor in it where it automatically open. They can pull right into the service drive, which is located behind us here. And when they pull up here, they never have to get out of the car. One of our service advisors will go out to them, greet them in the car, get all the information from them, and they can come right in here to this waiting area while we process their vehicle. 
Mike, bottom line on your beautiful Honda products. Do you have any specials or programs currently that you'd like to talk about? Um, specific programs right now, we're still moving out some of the 13 Civics that we're giving fantastic discounts on. Too good to be telling you right here on this episode. Well, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have some of the new fits uh, out that we were just giving some great prices on it. But uh, really, Hun has always been very focused on the leasing standpoint. The reason being is they have such a good retained value that you can lease these vehicles. Currently, we're leasing the Accords at similar prices to 1998. Mike, thanks so much. And I just want to remind everybody that's watching this to come uh, see us at Sakuchi Honda where you have a nice, pleasant experience. We're at 1350 West Main Road here in Middletown, Rhode Island. It's a great place to visit. And the greatest thing is you can come in here any day of the week and it's a place where the best deal is made easy. Now here's the answer to our Auto Show TV Did You Know. Nationally, Honda's top selling model is the Accord. That's not the case at Sakuchi Honda. What is Sakuchi's top selling model? The answer is A, the CRV. We have a lot of fun here on Auto Show TV, looking at new vehicles and visiting dealerships, finding out the latest and the greatest. Getting out on the roadways of Rhode Island is fun, but safety and smart decisions are the key. That's especially true this time of year for high school kids. Now that we're into May, it's prom season and soon graduations. Moms and dads worry about their inexperienced young drivers. Auto Show TV promotes driving safety, and we're especially concerned about teenage drivers. So with that in mind, I visited this week with Gabrielle Abadi, the Executive Director of Mothers Against Drunk Driving here in Rhode Island. She's also thinking about young drivers this time of year. People look at MAD like we are the death counters, you know, that that's what we do. We count the fatalities and the serious injuries, and that's what we do. And it's really just the opposite. I think that MAD exists because, you know, people still believe in the right to be alive, the right to drive on the road, and the right to have a family and everybody be safe. So during this year, we really, really support the celebration that everybody, you know, sees in prom and in graduation and families getting together. Um, and that's what our organization does. So we get really excited. Do we get a little nervous? Yes, we get very, very nervous. You still have to pound home the message. We do. Um, the prom graduation season takes a lot of preparation, you know, to buy those things and get ready to, to celebrate. But it also should take some great amount of communication and some rules and regs from the parents. And the other thing is, you know, personal responsibility. I'm going to trust you with my keys, I'm going to trust you to do this, I'm going to trust you to do that. And if in fact you break that trust, you know, this is the consequence. And the bottom line for parents is, you know, when you make those rules and regs, when you tell them the consequence, you have to make sure that you're setting a consequence that you are going to uphold. According to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, every 51 minutes on average, someone is killed in a drunk driving crash. That's over 10,000 lives lost, and someone is injured every 90 seconds. The annual cost of drunk driving in the United States exceeds $130 billion from this preventable crime. It's tough. Kids oh. think they're invincible. Oh. They no. think bad things happen to other people. They do. Why? Because they do. they're kids. That's right. But, you know, and, and that's true. I mean, I know. But if you look at the stats in the state, there are just, if not more adults that think that they're invincible. And these are the parents. You know, so that's the whole thing. We tell people, you know, like, it doesn't matter who you are, you're on the road at some time. Um, and the role modeling that parents have to do to show kids, you know, like, you don't want a kid to text when they're driving? Then don't let them be in the car when you're texting. Well, now in the world of texting, it's probably, I mean, the, MAD was Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and now it's probably Mothers Against Distracted Driving because there's, there's a lot of things out there. Years ago, the SAD groups in the high school changed themselves to, you know, Students Against Drunk Driving to Students Against Destructive Decisions. You know, and texting certainly is one. Distracted driving is a huge matter out there. There's not a lot of data, you know, to support, but we know what's happening out there. And we're finding that a lot of the major crashes, the major fatalities in the state, you know, they're looking at the, at the cell phones and they're able to track that seconds before that crash happened. They were sending out a text, receiving a text, and it had to do with their distraction. So then you add an alcohol or a drug type of thing into it, um, or another idiot on the road that, you know, doesn't care about themselves, you know, it's a dangerous, it's a dangerous environment. It's really a dangerous environment. And yet if you look at the wall that we have of photos about people, 
They're every shape, every size, every ethnicity, every, you know, every neighborhood in the state, you know. Um, so it's not, they're not, um, they're really, it's a non-discriminatory crime. They don't care if you're from South Providence or Barville or Westerly Woonsocket. Non-discriminatory. Don't care how rich you are, what religion you're at, what you look like. You know, it's a free-for-all on the roads. You're watching Auto Show TV. History. Sometimes looking back at where we've been and what we've built on is the best way to look forward. Anchor Auto started as a small repair shop on Lonsdale Avenue in Lincoln and built a reputation as the best place to buy a good used car at a fair price. Over the years, we've grown a bit, added the Subaru and Nissan brands, along with 100 or so employees, and have become one of the most trusted auto dealers in the country. We're still the same family, and we're still here every day, working hard for our customers and making history. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. Since 1981, International Motor Group has been helping people find the car they love without the high pressure hassle. From Chevys to Fords to Acuras to Volkswagens, we keep a wide variety of cars. Add to that a fully dedicated service team, and IMG is committed to keeping you and your car on the road safely. Come by and meet the guys who started it all and find the car you've always wanted. International Motor Group, Post Road on the Warwick East Greenwich Line. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. We came to Sandy Motors to see what their inventory was like, looked around, and I spotted this lovely Mercedes behind me. Took it for a test drive, absolutely loved it. I can tell you that I've recommended Sandy Motors to many of my friends, and I know some of them have purchased cars here. Uh, one of the reasons is I trust Sandy Motors. I know they're going to treat everyone fairly. Uh, it was such a great experience and a pleasant experience, actually, such that we came right back here when we needed to purchase a car for our youngest daughter. You're watching Auto Show TV. Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. And we're joined by Jim Melvin from Melvin's Tire Pros. He's our Auto Show TV Car Care Expert. Why? Because he's the best. And today we talk about the dreaded timing belt. Uh, what yes. do people need to know about this? Uh, the biggest thing about timing belts is timing belts are something you certainly want to replace on a maintenance basis. The first thing I would recommend is look at your owner's manual. The vast majority of manufacturers recommend replacing these timing belts in intervals between 60 to 80,000 miles. Now there's a reason for that. These timing belts are basically made of rubber and it is something that it is a wearable item. When this timing belt breaks, wherever you are when it breaks, you will be there for a while because the car's not going to move. So it's something we certainly want to recommend replacing. So if you're up to 120, 140,000 miles, you're really on the house's money. At yes, that you are. Yes, you are. You are, you have a, you are driving a time bomb at that. It's not a matter of if it's going to break, it's when it's going to break. Now here at Melvin's Tire Pros, you must, you guys do this every day. We do this on a daily basis in all five of our stores. It's something we do quite frequently, yes. Now I know that sometimes they want to prompt you into doing the water pump at the same time. Why is that? John, Replacing the water pump is not necessarily a prerequisite of replacing the timing belt. The reason that a lot of people recommend doing it at the same time is just because when you have the timing cover removed and the belt off, the timing belt is almost completely uh, exposed, so there's a big savings as far as labor. One of the nice things, Gates makes this timing uh, belt kit, not only replacing your water pump is a good idea, but you want to replace the kit because there are wearable parts like the timing belt belt tensioner, which constantly keeps uh, the correct amount of pressure on the timing belt, as well as all the pulleys that the belt ride on, which are wearable items. Always a good idea to replace at the same time as the timing belt. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> yes, there is. Yes, there is. Uh, it's like I said, key component to keeping the, the, the vehicle running. And once again, this is something that from a routine maintenance basis is a real good idea to keep your car on the road. 
and tell us more about Melvin's Tire Pros in the 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary this year serving Southern New England. We've got five Rhode Island locations. We would love to become your mechanic. So we offer you today to stop into any one of our AAA approved auto service centers. And remember, Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. Well, if you're in the market for a pre-owned vehicle right now, there's no better place to go than right here in Somerset. Ted's Auto Sales on Route 6. This is the sales manager, Mark Mannion. Mark, before we show the viewers some vehicles that you picked out this morning, tell us a little bit about Ted's. Well, we've been in business since 1990. We have a wide range of quality vehicles. Uh, we specialize in different finance programs, including a first-time buyer. Uh, we are accredited with the Better Business Bureau and we have a full service facility. All right, terrific. Let's show uh, the viewers some cars this morning. I know the Saturn wagon is the first one. What can you tell yes. us about it? Well, we get a lot of requests for the prototypical five to $6,000 range. This is a one owner car. It's a 2002 Saturn L-Series wagon. 70,000 miles, gets 30,000 miles to the gallon. Five, five passenger seating uh, with the space in the rear and um, it's only $59.95. Great. Next, this Fusion. Really nice. What can you tell us about it? Here? 2012, 48,000 miles, one owner vehicle, still in the factory warranty. Seating for five, fog lights, nice Michelin tires. It's only $14,995. Nice. Here's a beauty here, this Chevy Impala. Nice. Another one owner vehicle. 2009 Chevy Impala LT, only 34,000 miles. Wow. Five passenger seating, alloy wheels. Great gas mileage. It's only $13,995. This is immaculate. 34,000 yes. miles. It's yes. practically brand new. You always have a lot of family vehicles here at Ted's. And here's a nice one for those maybe looking to, to go on a little bit of an upgrade. How about the Nissan Rogue? You bet. Not just any Rogue, uh, SL version. 2010 Nissan Rogue. This has the uh, leather interior. It has the heated seats and the moonroof. Also has the smart key, it stays right in your pocket. Just press the button, you got the fog lights, five passenger seating. Still under factory warranty, $17,995. Well, this has to be a lot of fun to drive. Tell us about this bad boy. The Jeep Wrangler with some attitude, that's for sure. Uh, Skyjacker lift kit, uh, five wheel group Mickey Thompson tires. It's an automatic, it's the inline six. It's, uh, real Jeep owners know how long those last. 110,000 miles, it's only $13,995. Also features the uh, split hard top. You can take the front part of the top off. Ready to go. If you'd like any more information on the vehicles you've seen today, it's 508-677-9517 or on the web at tedsautosalesinc.com. Great job. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. Thanks for watching. That'll wrap it up for this edition of Auto Show TV. And remember, folks, don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.